and sports always come first. This is Action 4 Sports. Hello, Rio Grande Valley High School football fans. Action 4 Sports Director Clay Williams with you for your picks for Week 10, the final week of the regular season for the Valley High School football players. And a bit of a milestone is last week we went 19 and 5. 19 and 5, that's very good. The milestone is that after 10 weeks, that makes us 164 and 64. An exact 100 games over 500 for our picks for this year. Not bad. That puts us at about an average of 16 wins and 6 losses for every week. I'll take 10 games over 500. We've finally gotten to where we need to be. Let's see if we can improve on it. With the 11th week of week 10 of our picks, we'll start on Thursday with McAllen Rowe at La Jolla. Rowe with a lot to play for. They will win this game at La Jolla ISD Stadium. Sherryland at Mack High. What a fun game. Neither one of these teams with anything to play for except a lot of pride. You know it will be hard fought, and I've got Sherilyn coming out on top there. Harlingen at PSJ Memorial. PSJ Memorial, the one team nobody wants to face. Harlingen getting ready for the playoffs. Nothing to play for here except more pride. I've got Harlingen with the win. This will be a good test for PSJ Memorial as they go into the playoffs. Brownsville Lopez is at Brownsville Rivera. Lopez has come on strong in the past several weeks. Two wins in the last three games. I've got the Lobos winning at Sam Stadium. Let's go to Friday. It's Rio Grande City at Juarez Lincoln. I've got Rio Grande City winning that game game. Donna will be at mission. It is all or nothing for Donna. They must win to get in or either have a row loss. I believe the Redskins will take care of business at Tom Landry Stadium. Palmview is at McCallum Memorial. Expect the Mustangs to continue their unbeaten season and go to 10-0 with a win over the Lobos there. Edinburgh North at Edinburgh Economides. It'll make it two straight wins for the Cougars to end their season as they keep the Jaguars winless on the year. Wessico East at Hidalgo. Wessico East is on a roll and the Wildcats should win at Bill Pate Stadium. PSJ North at PSJA for the Tri-City Championship. PSJ North will take it and that game uh, at uh, FAR in PSJ Stadium. LaFaria will be at Progresso. Count a win there for the Lions and keep the Red Ants uh, off the winning streak for the 3A in their district. Mission Veterans will be at Ed Couchelsa. Not as much to play for this time around. Ed Couchelsa will rebound from last week's loss and win at the Black Hole. Roma at Mercedes. Basically, the winner goes to the playoffs. The loser goes home. I'm taking Roma to win on the road and make the Gladiators' first playoff appearance ever in the 31-year history of football at Roma. Falfurious will be at Santa Rosa. Should be an easy win for the Warriors, however, probably not enough to get them into the playoffs. Edinburgh at Harlingen South. Another win and you're in, lose and you're staying home scenario. I've got Edinburgh coming up with a win on the road at Bogus Stadium. Monte Alto will be playing at MMA, the final game of the season for both teams. I think that the Bloodhounds, actually, I'm sorry, that the Leathernecks of MMA will get the win over the Blue Devils of Monte Alto. Port Isabel will be at Rio Hondo. Huge game. Even though Port Isabel is already in, they want that district title, but I've got Rio Hondo winning at home and making it into the 3A playoffs. San Benito at Hanna. Another tune-up for the Greyhounds as Hanna cannot make the playoffs. I expect San Benito to win there. Out of the Valley, it's LaGruya at Zapata. Can the Gators make it two straight wins in Week 10 against Zapata, against the Hawks? I think they can. I think they will make the playoffs, keeping Zapata out. I've got LaGruya with an upset win there. LaVia at Charlotte, all the way at Atascosa County, and I've got LaVia winning there and making their way into the playoffs. Three games on Saturday. It is Weslico at Brownsville Pace. Expect Weslico to make it three unbeaten teams for the Valley Harlingen, McCall Memorial, and Weslico as they go 10-0 with a win in Brownsville, a 1 o'clock kickoff there. It's a two-for-one nightcap at Sam Stadium. At the night game, it is Los Fresnos at Porter. This is a good game for Los Fresnos as they face a a great passing offense from Porter, but I've got the Falcons coming away with a win. And it's Brownsville St. Joseph at Antonian taking on the Apaches. Huge game for them in the tap seating, and I've got the St. Joseph Bloodhounds with a win there. Those are your picks for the final week of the regular season of Valley High School football. We'll see you right back here next week.